National Science Foundation, at the direction of Doge and the President, forced to cancel over $1 billion in current contracts, 55% of its workforce. And I'm so sorry that many of you and many others have been treated so poorly by this administration. The cruel terminations, um, this is a disaster in terms of the finest government that the world has ever seen, what we've done to it. So we really look forward to being part of a science fair for canceled grants, and at least giving you some opportunity to talk about the important work that has been halted, at least temporarily. The somber truth is that when it comes to the Trump administration, really important research is not going to go forward in the short run. Some of these cuts are solely because of petty fights with major institutes of higher learning. Uh, we just had our president of UVA forced out last week, for example. And some are because the administration is diversity uh, and inclusion phobic. And one other thing is make it clear is that anything that doesn't closely align with Donald Trump's agenda is going to get cut. But here's what's important, inherent, incredible about science is it has no agenda. It has no political agenda, certainly. It rises above all political spats, trivial vendettas, and name calling. And I think all of us in this room know that. For so long, our great nation has been the envy of the world when it comes to scientific innovation, technology, Nobel Prize winners, um, way more than any other country in the world. And now our leadership is at risk, and America is in danger of falling behind. If we don't stance the bleeding, it's going to continue for take us decades to recover and to rebuild the scientific enterprise that we've been so invested in since basically 1950, 1948. Today we get to gather and see up close um, these wonderful posters and talk to the scientists, the solutions to some of our biggest problems. Hearing for children, uh, ALS, cancer, the many, many other research that we're seeing here today. Um, I, I deeply believe that history has a direction, that if you go back to Claude Shannon and Bell Labs in the late 1940s, when he first developed information theory, the second theory of information was that there's always more information in the universe this instant than there was an instant ago. And that unfolding of knowledge and wisdom and science is what keeps history moving forward. So we're at a pause right now, um, at least a temporary pause. So we just want to say thank you to all of you for being here to keep fighting, keep your spirits up. Science will move forward because of your good work. Um, we are larger than any one government. So on behalf of all my colleagues who care so much about American science, thanks for being here today.